We live in a world filled with diverse perspectives and opinions. These differences can often lead to conflicts and misunderstandings. But imagine a future where communication is harmonious, where conflicts are resolved peacefully. Conflict is an inevitable part of human interaction, but it doesn't have to be destructive. In fact, conflict can be an opportunity for growth and understanding if handled correctly. Effective communication is the key to avoiding unnecessary disputes and fostering a better future. Here are some essential tips for conflict prevention through improved communication. Number one, active listening. One of the most powerful tools for conflict prevention is active listening. To truly understand someone's perspective, you must give them your full attention. Avoid interrupting and focus on their words, tone and body language. Reflect back on what you've heard to ensure you've grasped their message accurately. This simple act of listening can prevent misunderstandings and minimize conflicts. Number two, choose your words wisely. Words have the power to build bridges or erect barriers. Be mindful of your language and tone when communicating. Avoid inflammatory or judgmental phrases and opt for words that promote understanding and empathy. Remember that what you say can have a lasting impact, so choose your words wisely. Number three, maintain calmness. Emotions often fuel conflicts. To avoid unnecessary disputes, practice emotional self-regulation. When faced with a potentially heated situation, take a deep breath, count to 10, or excuse yourself temporarily to regain composure. Responding with a calm and collected demeanor not only prevents conflicts, but also sets a positive example for others. Number four, seek common ground. Conflict often arises from differences in opinions, values, or perspectives. Instead of focusing on these differences, look for a common ground. Finding shared values and goals can unite people and help prevent conflicts from escalating. Number five, nonverbal communication. Communication is not limited to words alone. Nonverbal cues like body language, facial expressions, and gestures play a significant role in conveying messages. Be aware of your own nonverbal communication and pay attention to others' cues as well to better understand their feelings and intentions. Number six, practice empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. It's a powerful tool for conflict prevention. Put yourself in the other person's shoes and try to understand their perspective and emotions. Demonstrating empathy can de-escalate tensions and lead to more productive conversations. Number seven, use I statements. When expressing your own feelings, use I statements. For example, say, I feel upset when, and describe that situation that makes you feel upset. Instead of saying, you always make me angry when, this approach helps avoid blaming and accusatory language, making it easier for others to understand your point of view without feeling attacked. Number eight, choose the right time and place. This is the most common mistake that people do. Timing is crucial when discussing sensitive or potentially conflict-inducing topics. Find an appropriate time and place for a conversation where both parties can focus without distractions or external pressures. Number nine, be open to compromise. In some situations, conflicts can be resolved through compromise. Be open to finding solutions that meet both parties' needs. The ability to reach a mutually beneficial agreement can help prevent conflicts from resurfacing in the future. Number 10, communicate consistently. Open and honest communication should be a consistent practice, not just a reaction to a conflict. Regularly check in with others, discuss your concerns and share your thoughts and feelings. Building a culture of open communication is key to long-term conflict prevention. In a world rife with challenges and disagreements, Effective communication is our most potent tool for avoiding unnecessary conflict and building a better future. By actively listening, choosing our words carefully, staying calm, seeking common ground, and practicing empathy, we can create an environment that fosters understanding and cooperation, ultimately leading us towards a more harmonious and prosperous world.